Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Where last time, we actually started the ultimate heist. Uh, you guys can see I'm down here in the sewers, and we are working our way to stealing an Elder Scroll. Yeah, uh, that's that's pretty major stuff. So, uh, we, we really got into the beginnings of this entire quest. Remember, we're going to have to use a, a special arrow to open up a special door. We need the boots of Springhill Jack to survive a fall and to jump super high um, and it's so so on and so forth. Uh, there's just a lot that's coming. So, uh, we're about to go beneath the Bloodworks, uh, which I thought was kind of a cool spot to stop uh, between episodes. And now let's try to make some progress. Uh, we're going to be breaking into the secrets of secrets, basically. Uh, if you can consider a Oh, there's a fire down here. We're in the sewers. Why is there a fire? Oh, and this is a locked chest. Interesting. Probably something good down here. Uh, but yeah, so we're, we're, uh-oh. Vampire dust. Guys, that means that there are likely vampires down here. Uh, which makes me a little bit nervous. Oh, man. Why is there a corpse? And why is there still gold in the corpse's inventory? Okay, this is going to be an, a different type of quest. Oh, gates open remotely. Fantastic. This isn't as straightforward as I thought. So not only are we in a place that has zomb- that- not zombies, uh, uh, vampires. It has vampires. Not only does it have vampires, but it's also... got skeletons, apparently. Okay, that worked out nicely. Uh, still don't like it. <laughs> Not a fan. Bone meal. What the heck is wrong with these people? I'm creeped out right now. I'm creeped out. I did not expect to have to deal with vampires during this quest. I thought this was just to get in, steal the thing, and get out. But no, it's got to be a, it's got to be a challenge of my wit and my will. Neither of which I'm feeling super great about right now. Feeling better about my wit than my will, actually. But uh, all right, let's uh, let's just. I guess that's the thing I need to open. Ah, oh, that's the gate that I opened. Nice. But there's also this one. And there's another fire. Interesting. I'm wondering if... Let me look at my map here. Uh, these things can get... Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Let's just... Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog. Or it's a wolf. Or it may very well be a... Werewolf. <laughs> there's no telling. There's flipping vampires. It's a timber wolf. No wonder why it was so big and scary. Okay, so we're gonna get some arrows, get a little bit of gold, a lockpick. I stepped in a fire, which is never a good thing to do. Extra torches I don't really need. Look at your face. You look very unhappy. Okay, and... Uh... I guess I'll go this way. Oh, man, vampires, I just... I mean, I haven't found one yet, so maybe I'm lucky and I'm not the right level. To find vampires, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not strong enough to find actual legitimate vampires. I don't know. Whoa, that's a big wolf. Fortunately, if you shoot it with an arrow, what are you doing? Are you cooking this dude? Take the gold, but are you cooking the dude? I mean, what's the deal? More gold repair hammer. Excellent. You never know what you're going to find in here. I always end up checking them. Or I try to always check them. Sometimes I fail. Crumpled up pieces of paper. Pure of cure disease, or potion of cure disease. Sweet. That's the thing I was trying to find uh, with a Relinway. Ooh, soul gems. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So one thing about these vampires, they know how to keep really good uh, treasure around. But they're not very good at... Oh my goodness, that thing... Okay. This body's on fire! What? What is... And this one's hanging from its legs! 
What the heck, man? Alright, I guess there's no... Still haven't found an actual vampire, but I'm finding really great loot. Which I'm a big fan of, so I'm just gonna... Enjoy my, my time down here, I guess, as best as I'm able to. Keep my eye on my... On my 12, or my 6, if you know what I mean. Keep, keep an eye on my 6. And I, th I guess that's... The end. Also, I think this is actually a gate. Southeast tunnel. Palace sewers. Yep, palace sewers is where I need to go. So, I'm just gonna keep up this habit of sneaking everywhere. Can you imagine if you were if you were crouching like this dude right now for as long as he is? I mean, you'd be rock solid, right? Okay. Uh, I guess this direction is probably the best way to go. Ooh, something is near because I'm actually sneaking and leveling up. Maybe on the other side of this gate. Whoa. This is a very hard lock. Why is it a very hard lock? No! Okay, well if I can break through this, this will help a lot. Dang it. Come on. This will actually shave a bunch of time off of this quest, but, it, but also waste a lot of my lock picks and I don't want to go too low early in the quest because I know there's a lot of like breaking locks or, or, or picking locks. I want to make sure I can make it all the way through the quest without getting more so if I break another one I'm gonna go the long way around I guess. Dang it. Okay. Well. Oh wait a minute. Market sewers. No, I don't need to go to the market sewers. I was trying to break a lock or pick a lock that I don't need to pick. Okay, hold on. I'm confused. I'm not even sneaking right now. I'm like... I'm like over it right now. Okay, so I need to go forward and then left. Let's try that. Try to go that direction. Oh, wait, yeah, that's the door that I opened. I forgot. Okay. We're good. New territory. I think this is, yeah, this is new territory. You guys have probably checked or have noticed by now, I check my map all the time because I, I have such a rough sense of direction most of the time. So I just want to make sure that I'm going the right direction. I don't want to lose track of stuff. So, anyway. There we go. And that is a vampire. That is a vampire. And she's dead. Ha <laughs> ha. There's only one of them. Usually where there's one, there's more than one. Vampire bard. Oh my goodness. I just killed a vampire. Vampire dust. You know what? I'm going to keep the vampire dusts as a way to count how many I've killed. Similar to scalps, I guess you could say. So, that is the direction I needed to go. I might have to actually hit that gate again, but let me just see if there's anywhere else to go here. Uh, close chip. Ooh, Jade Necklace, Journeyman Retort, a book of decent value? Hold on a second. I can probably put... That's a novice retort. I'm going to put that in there. And then I've got a book. I think I can read this book and probably level up something. I think this is it here. Yeah. Mercantile skill increased. Nice. All right. And it's worth a lot, so I'm just going to keep it. Excellent. So my progress, I'm almost halfway to leveling up. This has been an excellent quest so far. And we're still in the sewers, man. I mean, we're... We're still in the sewers. Okay. Okay. Yep, it appears that I am in the right place. And... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this guy's an archer too. Stop it. Back off. Oh, don't, don't heal, you punk. Nah, that's what you get, you punk. Okay, I'll take his, his arrows. What I love about killing the archers is that they always have arrows. Healing, potion. 
Oh, I thought I heard someone else, but it was me. I was hearing myself. Okay, need a key? I have a key, Imperial Sewer Key. Very, very nice. All right, so this is the end. I'll take the potions. Cure disease, that's excellent. I haven't contracted a disease that I'm aware of, but all right, so now I'm going down into the palace sewers. I have found the sewer entrance that the Gray Fox told me to look for. Now I need to find the old way. Oh my. Huh? Oop. Ah, I see. Another vampire, perhaps? I'll, I'll go down there and get it later. This is excellent, being able to kill vampires. I mean, they their, their vampire dust is actually worth quite a bit. Uh-oh, another one. Oop. Ha-ha! I like it! Ooh, this one looks like it might have been a guard. Please don't be a guard. Oh no, it's definitely a vampire. Okay. Ha! Uh, I got nervous there for a second. Okay, I'll take your stuff. Excellent. Gate. Can't open it. Gotta open it remotely. So we came from up there, which means the only place to go is here. Excellent. And did that guy have a vampire dust on him? He should. If he's a vampire, he should carry vampire dust. It should be a rule. Alright, so these things are normally fairly straightforward. There's a fish or two down there. I can avoid it if I just avoid the water. Sometimes there's gates down there in the water. Oh, see all those fish? See those fish? Evil fish. Satan fish. We're gonna avoid the fish. And, oh, another one. Wow, there's two of them. Interesting. There's probably more Satan fish down there. There's probably, you know, a treasure chest down there. But I would honestly rather not jump down into the sewer water. Thank you. Hello, crab. So sorry, buddy. The old way! Look! It was bricked up at one point, and the bricks have fallen down. Awesome! Alright, I'm gonna open up this chest real quick, but then I get to go... Already go into the old way. Very, very nice indeed. Also, can I get... No, I was hoping to get my arrow back. Alright. I have found the old way. This is clearly a long abandoned sub-basement of the Imperial City. It looks like it's going to be a long journey to get into the Imperial Palace this way. I need to find the door that connects to the palace interior. If I remember correctly, I will need the arrow, the uh, arrow of extrication. I'm not sure. Yeah, it says the twice. There's a grammatical error. Interesting. Uh, we're going to need the arrow of extrication to unlock time in order to open the door. To unlock time. Unlock time. How do you how do you even lock time to begin with? That's a zombie. I killed it. But that's that's a terrible way to start this quest. To find a zombie. Not this quest, this level. Oh boy. That's a ghost. Ooh, I didn't know that um, regular arrows can hurt ghosts. I thought you had to use silver arrows. That's excellent. Okay, well, I'll take my arrow back, and that is a locked door. I'm just going to go around because I don't have confidence in my lockpicking abilities. Also, here is a pressure plate. I just got to avoid it, and... Okay, can I not avoid it? Fine. I'm just going to jump over it. Sweet. Grab myself some ectoplasm. Look around, see if I'm not missing anything. Excellent. Easy peasy so far. There's another... I'm sorry, but it's not fair to open up a door and all of a sudden there's a ghost standing there. That is not okay. Hey, I should have been able to clear that. Okay, fine. Let's try this. Oh, come on. I totally was aiming around that pillar. What happened? 
Oh, my marksman skill increased. Okay, I heard something, but I wasn't sure what it was that I heard. And I'm hearing a zombie. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hearing a zombie. I think it's a zombie. Aha! Got him. Nice. And this place actually looks quite familiar, actually. It looks like a place that I've been before. It looks like the place that I went through when I started this whole thing. Why would I go through a locked door when I could just jump down? Ugh. At least I'm assuming that that door just opens randomly. Right? The old way, the old way. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, that this is so cool. I am re-experiencing so many things right now. This is so cool. Because this is where it all began, right? Okay, so I guess I got to go back through this place. I'm, yeah, I guess so. I'm not a big fan of the undead in any game, in any situation. So I'm a little tentative around them. Uh, but if I can shoot them and kill them with uh, one shot while I'm sneaking because they don't expect me, then that's just perfect to me. Okay, I thought I would need... I thought I missed that, but apparently I didn't. The old way. I cannot believe... Ooh. That's cool. I don't know what that is, but it's neat. I can't believe this. So that means that I actually went through the old way whenever I started the entire game. Oop. One of the benefits of zombies is, generally speaking, they're sitting there moaning and making a, a loud ruckus. That way you can find them. But sometimes they're sneaky quiet, and it is miserably... It's scary. I'm not a fan. Okay, here's another interesting doorway. Oh! Oh! No! Catacombs? Really? I don't want to go... <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Okay. Why didn't it kill him like all the other ones? Guardian. Oh, my. This this was a leveled up. This is a... A, a beefy... A beefy skeleton. Fantastic. So which way do I need to go? Apparently, this direction. That way. But first, I have to investigate this direction because anywhere there's undead or vampires or whatever, generally speaking, the loot's pretty good. Oh, snap! Oh, gosh. I hate that. You can walk right up on these guys and barely see them. The one thing I do like about fighting skeletons is they don't keep... There's the arrow. They don't keep the arrows in them because they don't have a body. So literally bounces off every single time. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh, elven short sword. Nice. I'm going to take that just to... Take a look at its stats here. So it does... It does it's a short sword that does five damage. That's pretty nice. Of course, each iron arrow arrow does five as well. So, I mean, you might as well just use your arrows. But that's pretty cool. So, Elven. Elven is now the, the new standard, basically. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Give me my arrow back, punk. Okay, I'm actually backtracking quite a bit here. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's actually worth it anymore. Ooh, actually, it looks like the place where I need to go is straightforward. Okay, maybe we'll maybe we'll try this. Let me see if I can hit this. Ooh, I went too far. Something else is aware of me. Ow! What the heck? Stop it! Ouch! You have to admit, my character is a beast if he's willing to sit there and get bit by a rat 
while he puts an arrow in the quiver. What the heck? Oh. Nice. Okay. Took care of them. I was I'm still very impressed with my character. The fact that he he'll just sit there and and take getting flipping destroyed while putting an arrow in the quiver. Me, you know, I'll give you this though. Very slow at putting the arrow in the quiver. I have to be honest. All right. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. Zombies are the worst. Oh. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going I was going to turn tail and run, man. I was gonna bolt. Okay, what? What is the deal? I mean, yeah, we've been here before, but... Ooh. Whoa. I got a... I got a staff. I got some... Good stuff. That was some... That was some good loot right there. Hmm. So what's funny is, I mean, I've done this quest before, I've been through this all before, but I do not remember most of this. At all. I mean, again, I've been through it all. Oh man. Yes! I love my bow, man. It's the best. Yeah, so I've been through all this before, and it just doesn't ring a bell, all these different turns. I feel like I might have, there's multiple ways to get here, maybe. I missed. I don't like these guardians. Okay, good. And again, I love how they just drop their arrows all over the place. It's amazing. All right, so I'm, I'm confused a little bit. Um, oh, actually, it looks like I've gone the only way that I could. This was actually a dead end. So, I need to go, ah, okay. It's not that far, but it is a little bit far. This one looks like it's also a dead end, which means it's likely got some pretty decent loot. So let's go this direction real quick. Just to see what's going on. There's a rat. Kill the rat. Kill the rat so dead, it doesn't even know what happened. I'm definitely hearing... a skeleton... or a zombie. Both. See that? My my unnatural uh, fear of the zombies made me choose the wrong one. The, the Guardian would have been a better one to get the sneak bonus on, but... I hate the zombies so much that I'd rather just kill them first, even if they're weaker. A weaker target. And honestly, the ghosts don't bother me all that much. I guess just because they don't look like people, so it's like, you know, no big deal, I guess. I don't know. Okay. My goodness, there's so many mobs in here. Ridiculous. Oh, I did not see you here. Okay. Did not see you. Back off, man! See that? I always have an extra arrow quiver just in case. Because you can't take chances. And look at all these arrows, man. Uh... Oh, looks like I have actually rest, uh, reached a dead end. And that was not even worth it. That loot was not good. Dang it! Okay, well, I've got to backtrack a little bit and turn the other way, because apparently I needed to go... There might be a corridor here, but apparently I need to backtrack and go around, and then where I need to be is... 
uh, up here somewhere. So I think this is a good stopping point. Um, like I told you guys, this was obviously going to be a long quest. Uh, it's the ultimate heist. I mean, duh. So, uh, guys, that's going to be it for me today, though. I'm out of time, but next time, hopefully, we can make it into the palace and we can steal ourselves an Elder Scroll. But for now, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you. Be sure and like the video and subscribe. Join the class family, and I will see you all again next time.